so far so good. Did the glue up yesterday. Come back to the, and I drove all my wedges in the tenons. Sealed up some little gaps. Um, the directions say you're going to have some gaps in there to use little shims to fill them in. Just got my flush cut saw. I'm going to start cutting some of these off. are good and I'll probably chisel a little bit here with a little block plane and then do a lot of sanding get ready for finish this afternoon yeah, got everything back cleaned up here got a couple of tenons left uh, have got everything flush cut uh, hit it with a block plane on a few places now I'm finishing up with some uh, rasp and uh, and when I get the, these done I'm also rounding these top edges over the stretchers a little bit with the rasp and then it's on the sanding. I 
I'm supposed to get. Well, I got that coat of uh, gun stock stain put on, just a light coat, wiped off. It's dry. Now I'm putting on my uh, linseed oil, alcohol, and shellac mixture. Already wiped it on the bottom of it. It's really bringing it out. I am glad I put that stain on it. It shows the grain a whole lot better. This will dry very quickly. I want two coats of this on. That will seal it. And while I I sand it up to 220, and my random orbital sander, the Velcro wore out on it, so it wouldn't hold the pad. So I had to go old school and sand by hand. But that was okay. So I got it up to 220. And then I hit it with some uh, four off steel wool. And in between coats of everything else, I will continue to use the steel wool. I've used that before, and that's what I like to do when I'm finishing. Finishing up one stool, I'll still have my other one. I've got to do some trim work and finessing. But going to the wood show this weekend, next weekend, and I want to have one stool ready because our group, the Modern Woodworkers Association, is going to have a booth displaying some of our things. About last June, several of us that met on the internet through various sites like the Wood Whisperer and all that, we decided we wanted to meet up with each other. So I'm there with Chris Adkins and Aaron Marshall and Todd and several other of the guys. And we usually, oh, there it goes off the stands. <laughs> but we like to meet up once a month. We usually meet at the cafe and have breakfast. Then we go meet for a couple hours. Then we'll go over to Woodcraft just down the street. Hang out there a bit. Last time we were treated by Aaron Marshall who taught us a, a sketch-up class. Next weekend, our meeting will be going to the wood show together. We've met at uh, Holland Woodworking before. We ganged up and went to a uh, lumber mill last summer, Cave Lumber. And they went through the process and sawed up a log, and we got to go through his lumber collection. Pick out a few items. That's very nice. And our little group has gone nationwide. Got groups all over the country now doing the same thing. So look us up at uh, Modern Woodworking Association. Oh, yes. That's come along nicely. A couple of coats of that. 
and two or three coats of wiping varnish. Should finish it up. And I will probably hit it with a coat of wax and buff it out too. Put a little on the feet. I think that'll be fine enough to not stick to the bench. Well, welcome back. I've completed my projects here. My three cloth Chinese stools. Uh, for a little recap, I was read the Chris Schwartz Anarchist Tool Chest book. I uh, ordered the video that goes with it, and Chris was sitting on a stool like this when he was showing his tools, and I just become fascinated with it, especially with the stretcher system. So after a little research, I went and found on Poplar Woodworking this article here from Robert Lang, and uh, I had a big, large slab of black locust my dad gave me, and I cut it up, milled it, and made these stools. Um, I've uh, sanded everything uh, up to 220, and, and then I use 4 all steel wool. I put a coat of uh, gunstock stain on it, and then I put two coats of, of a mix of uh, boil linseed oil, shellac, and denatured alcohol. Then I put three coats of uh, uh, wiping varnish, which was half mineral spirits, half satin polyurethane. Uh, then I've uh, buffed them out with some Renaissance wax. Uh, this one here, in a couple of weeks, I'm taking to my dad on his 74th birthday, uh, which is actually in a couple of days, but I won't get to see him until then. But happy birthday, Dad. Hope you like your stool. Uh, I've enjoyed the project. It was a challenge. A lot of uh, angles, uh, mortise and tenons. Um, the locust was very hard, dense wood, but I like it. I uh, used my lathe to scoop out the seat tops, a lot of hand tools. Used my rasp a lot on this project uh, that I hadn't used a lot before. I'm learning to like that. Uh, but I really enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed it. I apologize for my poor video quality. My camera's not what it used to be, and I promise I'll never use it again after this, getting a new camera. Uh, but thanks for watching, and I hope, I hope you like the project. and. Go try these stools yourself. It's a very fun project. Thanks, Thanks again. Are you still here? It's over. Go home. Go.